All right, so Derek kind of introduced this, but in this next step, step four, so we're halfway there, yay. Um, assemble emergency supplies and create a checklist. Um, a lot of these things are, are somewhat, uh, you know, self-explainable, but, uh, you know, some of them aren't. So we'll talk a little bit about, we'll just kind of run through this, um, this kind of bullet point list of emergency supplies you may need. Uh, first aid supplies, uh, rope and chain, um, that could be used for, some of the debris we talked about earlier, you, you know, you think about water damage and wind damage, but a lot of uh, times you have access issues. So rope and chain that can help to uh, tow or remove debris or vehicles. Um, ladders, utility knives, duct tape, sheet plastic, which is tarps and blankets, uh, radios, flashlights, batteries, flares, bottled water, poster board and markers for signs, basic tools such as tape measures, hammers, nails, drills, wenches, hacksaws and shovels. Uh, any kind of ratcheting tie down straps, chase, chainsaws and handsaws, plywood and portable sawhorses, portable generators, pumps if you have any type of flooding issue to get the water out, fans or smoke, ventilation equipment, fuel and approved storage containers, a bullhorn um, with a battery and an audio, auto cigarette adapter if possible. So uh, one of the things we talked about before is um, two is one and one is none. That's kind of the moniker that uh, that a lot of people use in, the, in these types of emergency situations. So and it's gonna be inevitable that if you have one set of batteries that they're gonna die out and, and, and nothing's gonna work. So anything you have with that could potentially be charged uh, is, a, is gonna be beneficial to you here. A portable searchlight, battery, again, with a, with an adapter or some type of charging mechanism. Uh, cameras for documenting post-disaster damage. Uh, digital cameras obviously permit quick downloads and emailing. And then auto cigarette lighter adapters for mobile phones and laptop com computer. So which these are, whether in, you're in a residential capacity or a commercial business capacity or a hotel business where you've got uh, potentially even patrons there, um, these are obviously priority items that you need to always have on, on hand. And uh, I, it is important to note that um, there is actually a tax-free weekend coming up. I believe it's uh, the end of the month, May 29th through June 4th. And it specifically applies to any of these emergency supplies coming up with the onset of hurricane season. So it's a great time to go ahead and maybe pick up some of these things because I believe the tax-free benefits apply to specifically batteries and flashlights and um, and possibly even generators. So um, it may be a good time to go ahead and pick up some of these items if if you don't have them on hand. You know, um, you know, it's interesting, Travis. That generator point. I think you and I have seen a few people, a few HOAs that have gotten some generators so that they put them in their clubhouses. So after a storm, when, when everybody else is out, they have a, a meeting place that they can meet and a, a place that has electricity um, and they can go over there and they can, they can talk about their plans and how the recovery plans. So the generators is one that always sticks out to me, uh, whether you're a residence or an HOA or a business owner. Yeah, good point. We've got a couple samples here of uh, just what some of uh, the checklists look like that we've put together. Um, obviously, this is you know not in a format that you'd be able to use. So please feel free to contact us afterwards uh, for a downloadable checklist that could possibly be edited or tailored to your specific application. Um, but this kind of gives you an idea here of some of the things that you want to um, to have uh, on hand ahead of time. 